What's up, nerds? It is I, Ruben, with Nerd Space Games. How's it going, guys? Uh, let me just go through everything, make sure everything's on. Turn the desktop audio on, because I forgot to do that last stream, and we got the game going, and kind of fucked everybody up, because everybody wasn't able to hear the volume of the game for the first 10 minutes. But what is up, guys? Thank you so much for joining me live on Nerd Space Games. Uh, today, we are going to be streaming Dino Crisis 2. Before we get started with the game, though, I just want to make sure that audio sounds good. I sound great. When we get the game going, you guys let me know if that sounds great. Uh, hit up the chat and let me know those things. Also, just want to reach out to you guys and uh, go over a couple different things before we get started as well. First off, um, there is a new video up on my second channel, Nerd Space Horror. If you're into movie rankings, you guys already know I do a lot of video game rankings on this channel. But if you're into movie rankings, go check out that channel. It's called Nerd Space Horror. Uh, the link to it, I believe, is in the description. If it's not, I will put it in there at the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, go check that out if you guys are interested in um, you know movie rankings of horror movies. Uh, also, uh, I have a video going up on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a sequel to a different video that I did. It was uh, the top 10 best dogs or dog companions in video games. Well, this time I'm going to do the top 10. Take that off for a sec. I'm going to do the top 10 dogs in horror games because ironically, I didn't have a single dog from a horror game on that list I did. And I don't know why it just worked out that way. So I want to do a separate video where I'm focusing on dogs in horror games. So there's going to be a top 10 best dogs in horror games. That will release Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you tune in to check that out. Also, if you guys can, leave a like on today's video. Uh, it will help pr promote this video on the algorithm. Get people watching, you know. It definitely helps the channel out. Um, last thing I want to cover before we move on to this stream is... Um, Thanks to Mod pretty much giving out a bunch of memberships last stream. Thank you again, by the way, Mod Elite. But son. because so many people have become members on the channel, Welcome I have a lot of son. different emotes available for those members. And I was able to add a new emote. So the yellow herb is now available. I know you guys were asking for that in the chat last week. Well, that's officially available. And on that subject, if I get one more member today, if you guys can find someone else to become a member today, I can add another emote. So make sure you guys uh, tell your friends about the channel. If anybody wants to help support the channel a little bit more, we just need one more member to make that happen to get another uh, emo out there. That's pretty much all the ground rules for today's video. I'll go over some chat. We'll go ahead and switch to streaming mode. Um, and let's get the game going. Now for Dino Crisis 2. I've looked for HD uh, upscales and projects and stuff. There was an HD project on uh, that is in the works. I think it's a little more than a quarter of the way complete. I don't remember 100% how far along it is. But I wanted to play throughout this entire game. So I, I'm not using that HD project currently. So unfortunately, there isn't that many upscales I was able to do to this game. I know there are some out there. I'm not extremely technical when it comes to that kind of thing. So unfortunately, I didn't like upscale it that much. A lot of what you're going to be seeing is very native to what you saw on the original release of the game. But it's a little upscaled it's a, with a widescreen hack and stuff. So let's get this going. All right, guys, I'm going to talk and then you just let me know how the volume is for Dino Crisis compared to my volume. And let's go through some chat while we wait for this to pop up. <laughs> test, test. You hear me fine? Not too low compared to the volume of the game? We're going to do a new game. We're probably going to do this on normal. Okay. <laughs> I know, right, Juicebox? God, that PlayStation uh, PlayStation intro is still the most nostalgic thing ever. No joke. I love that. All right, so let's go through the chat before we get started. Last of Us guy, welcome back, my friend. That is our $10 uh, 
alpha member thank you so much for joining us live once again tomas welcome back uh juice box you're a new face i don't think you were here the last two streams welcome welcome thank you for joining us uh dark attack yo how's it going my dude uh mod elite that is the uh legend himself mod elite who actually passed out five memberships to some of the viewers last week so big reason why we have the yellow herb available excuse me why we have the yellow herb available as an emote now uh let's see do, 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 do. chill wednesday night yes for sure my dude uh my birthday uh last of us guy my birthday's on the 22nd well happy early birthday man sorry we couldn't stream on your birthday uh well that's six days five days away right maybe i can stream on the day we'll see what happens it's probably gonna end up on next wednesday though for the next stream where do i download dino crisis one and two um so legally i can't really tell you anything about immolation or anything like that um, that is something that you can do research on and I'm sure you can find your own stuff on uh, me. I'm actually using ports from because uh, I own the uh, physical copies of these games and I'm using ports bringing it over to the PC and then playing it on uh, emulations that way. Um, let's see. We love you nerd space. Thank you so much to Lou. Thank you so much for joining us live, of course. And I think we're all about caught up. So let's jump into some Dino Crisis 2. We finished Dino Crisis 1 last week. Hopefully, we can get through about half of this game this week. We'll see what happens. But I'm excited to jump into this one. I remember this one less than I remember the first game. The first game, I had a pretty good memory of it. I, did, I Obviously, I was still stuck on some puzzles that I forgot. This game, I don't remember at all. I know I played it, but I don't remember anything about this game. So, I'm excited to play this one. Um, I do know it's more action-heavy compared to the first game. Um, like, I remember the first segment of the game starts off with uh, you playing as Dylan, and he's going guns blazing against a bunch of raptors, basically. I remember that part of the game. I don't remember much of the rest of the game. So, we're going to play on normal, because I don't want to embarrass myself. I'll play on hard sometime in the future. Maybe I'll stream that at some point. But we're going to play on normal for the first playthrough. So... <laughs> Dino Crisis 2, baby. One year has passed since the Third Energy incident. Dr. Kirk's research on Third Energy has been taken over by a government agency, and massive research has begun at a base somewhere what in up, the Jessica? Midwest. Thanks for joining us live. However, in their pursuit of immediate results, they have failed to take the necessary precautions, and once again, an accident has occurred. This time, the entire research base, military institution, and a small town close by have disappeared. In their place, there now lies a jungle from another time. May 10th, 2010. I'm about to step through a gate into another time. Or maybe it's another world. I'm being sent in with other members of TRAT. Our mission? To Jessica, rescue 1,300 the, survivors the the and collect data on the Third Energy Project. Hey Sarge, where do you want this? We were going to have a technology and transmission on this GPS. There's something wrong. Hey. About to get real.
bitch. You thought that was gonna take you down? Where we go back in engine. See how this looks. See the one thing I couldn't do better on I <laughs> so was the uh the cretaceous background. way of welcoming guests, huh? Still a little blurry. Not exactly but. the red carpet treatment. Hmm. There's no response. Well, I'm pretty sure my team's alright. There's more than a thousand survivors. Let's get moving. Now hold on. What was your name again? Hey! Regina. <laughs> the ivy is wrapped around the door. It won't open. Dark attack. I used Let's to play the Torah 2008. I enjoyed that game, but aged poorly. Agreed. Oh, I tried on. replaying Torah recently, Didn't they teach too. you how to open it a did door really at sword training? Here, I'll show you. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. That weapon definitely suits a trat member. But I prefer to go in this way. See ya, Mr. Barbarian. Hey, the name's Dylan. Call me that when you need some help, okay? <laughs> Sorry, dude. Regina, don't leave me, Regina. I don't trust Dylan. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Here we go, guys. Do this. Got some shit to kill. T Rex, Raptors, all the fun stuff. I know we can't go after you, Regina. You will be missed. Come back. Alright. Alright, yeah. And then I think this is how you open the menu. Cool, cool. Got it. And then melee. All right, I'm good. I got this. So what I wanted to do, I'm not really good technical wise. Uh, I wanted to add in the pre-rendered, like upscaled pre-rendered backgrounds uh, because obviously this is blurry as fuck, but gotta work with what you got. And if I was a little bit more intelligent, I would have done that, I promise. Definitely will be replaying this whenever the rebirth mod comes out though. Hopefully in the next year. Uh, on your shotgun bullets. Let's go, bitch. trying to mess with. Oh shit. Okay, got it. Uh, oh shit. Where'd you come from? Let's go. Oh shit. That's not good. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Down the ladder we go. I don't know. Um, I'll get back to you in a sec. Dark Let's quiet down first. What I find really impressive, like, yeah, you don't have the 3D graphics for the background, instead you have pre-rendered backgrounds. Um, what I find impressive, though, with this one is that, and I think the reason why they didn't, they had to go with pre-rendered backgrounds, is how many enemies can be on screen at once here. For its time, that's, like, real, real cool. Like, look, the fact that you have, like, these raptors jumping out constantly out of the jump and shit. I think it's pretty impressive for this time. 
Oh, you bitch! God damn it. Your boyfriend's right, by the way, Jessica. You Are you one of the survivors? Just shot. I think you got ported away. today, right? No, yesterday. Come out. I got ported yesterday. We came here to rescue you. I'm working on a video idea that is uh, like some of the best, like classic style uh, and survival horror games inspired by resident evil available on modern consoles and i want to play a new nightmare the new nightmare alone in the dark because i feel like that kind of fits in that qualification other stuff like tormented souls and stuff like that lisa um i want to put on that list as well but i need to play a new nightmare because i never played a new nightmare and i need to play it so that way i know where i would rank it at but i know that just came out on the playstation uh premium membership uh yesterday right You guys are quiet today. Usually you guys are talkative. Watch the raptor. This will save. Usual gamer, the old games have a really good vibe, even the cutscenes. I agree. Like I said, there's a few um there there's a few games that have those old school survival horror vibes available on modern consoles. And I think I have just enough to make a list of ten of them. So that is a future video, but I need to I need to play a new nightmare before I can make that list. Um and there's another oh, I need to finish Song of Horror before I make that list too, because that qualifies and I've only played the first chapter of that game not a fan of the gameplay of that one but it still kind of qualifies um for that category resource or reuse pack Re reusable pack that's what it means okay i don't remember what it does at all Do 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 do. Oh. oh, you. How am I feeling? You seem good. Okay. Do you? Okay, so we do have a vitality this time. Okay. Why? I thought it's usually up in the corner, but. Oh. Oh shit. Oh my god, what a punch. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Go. Get the fuck out. Oh no, it's a dead end. No. Shit, I got jumped. It was an ambush. Alright, I guess we'll use items. Just about this looks so much fun. It is. It just got started, but it is so far. Recovery items. I want to use a small one. There we go. Uh, Last of Us guy just got the separate ways presenting before remake and beat it and what's in it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun though. I really like it. Probably one of the best. Um, one of the best uh, DLCs for right now. Uh, Raptor's still alive. Not gonna waste any more ammo. Go 
somebody. out of here. Too many of you guys. Oh my god. Christ. No. Ah. Damn. Uh, I gotta go up and finish. I'm finishing my work. Bye. See you later, uh, Juicebox. Thank you for stopping by. It means a lot. Ceratops or T-Rex? video game has the best two oh has the best t-rex enemies they were scary as fuck and great war sounds i uh, never played that game actually Regina, 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 Mr. Regina. Oh, there it is. That kind of Dino Crisis save room music. Gotta love it. We will take this. Again, the day has come, January 14th. This is the day when the third energy accident occurred and we were sent to this time. This is the 10th time this day has come. Okay, wow. And every time I feel the same despair, it's rough. in there i definitely recommend it i would say it's a survival horror adjacent all right maybe there's a lot of games on my list i think the next franchise i'm gonna stream will be parasite eve i think i'm gonna probably try to do dino crisis 3 even though i don't like dino crisis 3 but i'm probably gonna try dino crisis 3 and um uh yeah so we'll see what happens What's up, dude? Wow, Dino Crisis 2, my favorite game. Thanks. Dino Crisis 3 stream next? Maybe. I was just talking about that. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do Dino Crisis 3. I'm not a fan of Dino Crisis 3, but uh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Finally get to watch a stream. 
while it happens. Let's go. Drake Knight, for sure, my dude. Thank you for joining us live. So happy to see you here, man. No, there's a zombie. Get in. Wrong franchise. Get the key plates. Never did. Thanks. Oh shit! Oh. You fuckers! Damn you! You may be able to short it. Oh, of course. I'll be completely honest, uh, dude. Um, it's been a long, long time since I played Dino Crisis 3. I just remember not loving it as much as I liked the first two. But I can't remember much about the third game. So I probably should replay it and see if my opinions on it have changed. But we'll see. Also, if I remember correctly, Regina's not a main. Is not the main. Oh, it's not a playable character in that game. Okay, so I'm confused. I have the key plate. But it says I can't do this without Regina. Huh. Well then, do we have a map yet? All right, so that's locked. There's no door over there. I can, oh, there's a door over there in the military facility. Okay. Let's go back over there then. Uh, I like the idea. I'm sorry though, I know. I know you love Dino Crisis 3. I'm sorry. Uh. No, fuck. I really should be using more bullets because I think you actually get a lot of resources in this game. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You're still here. Alright, let's see. So we need to stay to the left. Fuck you. Dark Attack. Okay, gotta go. Don't want to spoil myself too much. Farewell. See you later, Dark Attack. Thank you for joining us live, my dude. So control panel for a shield shutter. It is used for alarming trespassers. A blue light is lit. To operate it, you need a key plate. Well, guess what I have? I have a key plate. So how do I use it? Here. Key item. Perfect. This key plate is not the correct one. Okay, well. Good to know. Just Key cards are kept in a box in a wall of one room, approximately 250 people. The soldier families. Yep, got it. Okay. This is probably the one that the key goes to. I want to see what this key. Oh, no, that's map. I will get used to the controls. Get him. Military facility. Okay, so it does say where. Got it. Tomislav, how's it going, my dude? Thank you for joining us live, my my friend. You got the research facility key card. Huh, oh, great. You have inserted an incorrect key. Trespasser confirmed. This room will be locked. What? It was wrong key. Why the fuck did it open then? Uh, I'm gonna take off my hat. Somebody answer me. David. Regina. Over. This is Regina. Over. Regina, I'm trapped. I'm at the military facility. I need your help. Over. Did you swing your precious machete around? Well, I guess I can help you out. <laughs> Over. What a bitch. Good. Okay. I'll put a key in front of the door as a mark. Don't let me down. Over and out. My dogs are going crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear them. I'm gonna do something real quick. There we go. I'm coming. Uh, 
actually, I don't know where I'm going. Let's see, so we are uh, on the other side of the map. Because, of course, we would be. Okay, so. Patrol is shit. Let's see where we pop up at when we go out here. Handgun? Demir Fojin, how's it going, my dude? Thank you for joining us live. What's up? Oh, those small little dinosaurs. Don't mind me, just run by. Oh boy. Usual gamer. Fun fact: they are remaking Silent Hill 2, but it looks horrible. Why don't developers put some effort into the games like back in the day? Problem with the Silent Hill franchise is that you don't have the same people making it. Like Team Silent was disbanded after Silent Hill 4. So. That's why we haven't got like a really good Silent Hill game since then. Unless I, I give props to Silent Hill uh, Origins. I think it's a decent Silent Hill game. I'm not gonna mess with this. We're just gonna keep on moving, keep on trucking. This looks heavy. Pre render backgrounds look rough. Poisonous spores by poisonous by the poisonous plants by oh, okay. Well, we're not gonna go this way then. Noted. Alright, so let's see where we are right now. I think we're here, so we're primarily going the wrong way probably. I should probably go back. This way, I don't think there's a point going this way, but we're going this way. We came here. Ah, I didn't know that. Yep. Team Silent disbanded after Silent Hill 4. They all went different directions. A lot of them, I think, are with this. Like, I know or someone with from Team Silent is with Silverhead. Is making Silverhead, if I'm not mistaken. Not 100% sure about that, though. Why are you facing that way still? God damn it. Oh shit. No, get off the water. Oh my god. It's not. Good. There's a gamer. I like the first one the most. Which one did you like the most? I actually have a ranking of the Silent Hill franchise. You want to go check that video out? But spoiler, Silent Hill 2 is probably my favorite. And actually, I like Silent Hill 3 better than Silent Hill 1 as well. I love Silent Hill 3. So, Silent Hill 2 and 3 are kind of interchangeable for me. I really like both. Well, I can't do that. That is what you think. Oh, fuck. Saving mechanic here instead of just saving as you exit the save room. Because I hated having to answer that question every single time I left the save room.
great. But looks like it's gonna be locked. Check it out. Huh? He's fucking again. Gotta get gotta give it the women the booty shorts. Wait. And the men the jeans. I'll save that bitch. She had it coming. Grab my hand. Cornbread, welcome uh, to the family, son. What up, my dude? Thank you so much for joining, uh, Cornbread. <laughs> Who are? We have some disgusting to do. <laughs> Lady, I don't want to do this to you, but you've left me no Die. other choice. We are gonna torture you. Give me answers. I have to end it. it we will risk uh, you escaping. You gotta go. Oh shit, you can aim. I'll sh can you shoot too? Oh shit, look at that. Something that Resident Evil didn't implement until what, the fourth entry, I think? Actually, not even the fourth entry. Yeah, Dino Crisis had it in Dino Crisis 2. That is ridiculous. That's insane. I never knew that. Drake Nye, honestly, pretty glad I found your channel. I've been obsessed with Resident Evil for about six years now, and I wish I could play the older games. My boyfriend recently recommended me uh, the streamer Zero. I don't really watch many streams. I don't know who Zero is. Name sounds familiar. Um, uh, definitely have to check it out, but um, yeah. Now I stream. I streamed uh the HD uh CMOS HD project of Resident Evil Two a while back. I think I might stream Resident Evil One HD project sometime in the near future. I don't know if I want to do that first or do Parasite E first. I'll probably post a poll on the channel and see what people want want to see. Okay, well, you're not doing anything useful for me, so I'm gonna leave. Peace. But thank you for joining. Wait, 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 I don't know where I'm going. Is that... There's not gonna be anything over here, is there? Oh, fuck you. There's so many of you guys. God damn, okay, I gotta, I gotta fight. Ice. They kicked my ass, didn't they? Uh, how's my health? Oh, a small one. Yeah, that's good. Oh my god! Give me a break! You guys don't normally give up, do you? So we need what's his name to come back here. And there's that thing again. All right, so we're here. We go straight and we take a left. Do that straight in the left. Probably. Guess we'll find out. Oh god. We're going this way. Oh, bitch. Oh, he can jump. Big boy can jump.
can buy weapons at the shop. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. That feature I'm not a fan of. I know it was in Resident Evil 4, but I'm not a fan of like shopping for your weapons. I like finding them in games. Oh wait, where are we at? So here, we go to that door, that door, and then we're gonna go out to the next one over there. Leave me alone. I know you guys are hungry. If you don't taste that good, I promise. Play the flame door at the shop. I will. I'm gonna go to that other location over here. Pack, okay. You have anything good? Nice. Allosaurus. John the Cook, what up, my dude? What's up, nerd? You big head. Sorry, seen the notification. I'm late. Uh, you're good, man. Glad to see you here. That's all that counts. That's all that matters. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. We can't go through there. Jesus Christ. It's funny going from Dino Crisis 1 to Dino Crisis 2, where you see like a raptor, maybe one, maybe two at the most in the same room. But then here, we got fucking, oh my god. Alright, you come down, I go up. Bro's the king of raptor dodging, tell me about it. Gotta be, oh, what's over there? I'm gonna worry about it. Let's go get the fight over. Alright, 
I guess. Yeah, we need more points, so we gotta go kill stuff. Good. Noted. At least Rick isn't here. I don't know, I'm kind of missing Rick. Useless, but... Oh! Oh my god. They call me the Dino Hunter. Jonathan Cook, welcome to Stars Bravo Team. Thank you so much for joining, my friend. So happy to see you as a member. And you know what, guys? With that member right there, we now have a slot for a new um, a new Stars membership uh, or a new emo uh, emoji. So because you're the one that is unlocking it, uh, Jonathan, I'm gonna let you decide out of the. Uh, ones I have made for what's gonna be the next uh, emoji so I got the any of the keys from Resident Evil 2 like the spade the diamond the club uh, I miss, oh, the heart uh, you can do one of the other statuses like uh, gr the green status the cautious status um, I had the crescents from Resident Evil Pick, pick one of those. Let me know uh, what you want to see. Oh, wait. I forgot to find the flank door. Jonathan, you distracted me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see. Uh, I have a typewriter, ink ribbon. I have a couple different options. Just let me know what you want to see. And welcome to stars. Alright. We are going to buy that flamethrower now. Machine gun, flame launcher, yes. Poison status. I don't know if I have the. Do I have the poison? I know I have fine, cautious, and uh, I already have danger uploaded. I'll see if I have poison status. Do I want that? We'll hold off on the rest. Key? All right. 
I'll look for the poison status. If I don't have that one made already, then um, I'll do the spade key. Oh, they fucking brought in pterodactyls now. All right. Fuck you guys. Kind of makes me regret killing that dinosaur, huh? The Allosaurus. Got the flame launcher. I don't remember how. I definitely have the spade key. I have I have all four sp uh, keys in Resident Evil 2, and then I have all the statuses except for poison, I think. But I'll check. Do you prefer a key or do you prefer the red status? So I'll do the reds. Oh, no, I already have red status. It should already be uploaded. You can use it right now, actually. I think if you do it right now, like the danger. Check. Well, I'm pretty sure I already have that one. So there's no point in picking that one. Uh, don't, so you can do any of the other statuses, keys, whatever you feel you like going with. All right, we're going to switch to the handgun. Yay, it's uploaded. Oh yeah, it's uploaded. Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, where are we at now? Oh god. Alright, so we are in the save room. We came from down here. Save. Big door goes out that way, right? Oh, you're good, man. No worries. You should test it out. Make sure you can post one. You should be able to post one right away. Yeah, so this is the right way. Go straight that away. Okay, cool. No, of course. Push the bed. Dinosaur. Oh, not dinosaur. Oh, 
Oh, look at the Triceratops. Thank you, Nice. Thank you, Shigu. Um, if you want to test one out, uh, one of the commands is red for da or actually it's danger. Danger or red? Oh, red. For both of them actually, because red is for the red herb, and danger is for uh, the danger status. for me. Almost there. The play which Yeah, the key play thank you. I need to buy ammo at the shop. Yeah, I know. No, oh, I'm doing alright. Playing around. Let's see key items. Search key card. I guess we gotta go this way. Okay. Make sure. I mean, pterodactyls. Ah! Pterodactyls are much bigger in this game. the whole buying mechanic in here but do I want to go up 50 more yeah we'll go up 50 more actually let's just go up why not there we go okay machine gun might be nice to have I think I can afford it yeah yeah why not Alright. Should save before we go back out. There's uh, other emojis in there too, by the way. Uh, you got the different colored herbs, which are all connected to the color they are. First aid spray. And there's a few more. The stars emblem is one of them. I think you just do stars for that one. That's all I can remember off the top of my head. I think there's seven or eight of them though. Alright, let's go. System which is all the key plates. Only one key plate can be removed at a time from the system. So we need blue, I'm guessing. Shirts. 
that's the one that we need. We used to unlock the electronic lock in the military. Okay, perfect. Boom. the files this time that was an annoying feature in the previous game where you had to you didn't bring the files with you we play extra crisis that money you when you finish the game uh maybe Not right away, because there's other games I want to get around to doing. Also, I could unlock Extra Crisis right away if I wanted to. Um, Demolition, uh, like Duck Station, comes with the cheese, and you automatically unlock them right away. But um, I don't think I will be doing doing uh, Extra Crisis right away. I think I kind of want to hurry up and get the Dino Crisis three. And then from there, start the Parasite Eve uh, trilogy. There we go. Hey, welcome, what took buddy. you so long? Uh, excuse me. Nice to see you too. You owe yeah. me one. I found a young female survivor, but she was uncooperative. I locked her up in the control shack. I'll take her back to the ship. You go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I want to walk through a code of Veronica then. Just try to relax. <sighs> what is wrong with you? You're a survivor, right? Please, we're here to help. What's your name? Where are all the others? Where's your family? Regina. You better come and see this. Who trashed the place? It wasn't dinosaurs. Someone must have got in here and destroyed all the computers. The activator for the gate is broken too. We can't get back to our own time. It must have been those people with the helmets. They also damaged the engine activator. We can't even move our ship. A bunch of dicks. Okay. We'll have to look for something in this world in order to get us back to our original time. And we have to find parts for the ship, too. Hey. Before you go, handcuff the girl yeah. so she won't run away. There's a facility we haven't gone to yet. You gotta check it out. Right. Back to Dylan. Calm down. I'm here to help you. Just calm down. Look, I have to make sure you don't escape. Trust me. Like, uh... What's the matter? <laughs> Speak English, woman. <sighs> Gina Legend. <laughs> I'm on Claire Joe in the game. Old fan stream. Agreed. What kind of weapons can you buy? 
you get a solid cannon, single handed main. Uh, don't have enough money, but we are gonna kill some shit, so we do have enough money. All right, so I already know where I gotta go because we. The fuck. Um, because we were. I don't want to see that map. Save room there. But where the fuck are we? Let's just exit and figure out where we are first. So we need a new battery. Hey, Regina. Regina, Regina. There are still areas we haven't been to. Go search yeah. for survivors. I and know. we need that battery. Woman, I know. Okay, subscribe. Send me down the on hoodie. I wish I could do that, honestly. I really do. I thought about doing a higher Patreon um, membership for some kind of, um, or at least opening a shop for nurse space related and survival horror related uh clothing but haven't got that far yet sometime in the future potentially we'll see what happens i need to find a partner that will help me uh come up with a nerd space uh shirt and shit All right now i know where i'm at perfect so we're gonna go here map so I want to go straight, but it doesn't look like you can, so we have to take the long way. Of course we do. But I know we need to go down that way to the missile silo. Okay, cool. Miraculously open. Big scary dinosaur. Oh, there it is. I knew I heard you. I just didn't know where you were. Oh, you know what? I should kill you, though. You give me, like, a lot of points. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Fuck me up. Maybe I shouldn't have fought him. Alright. Damn. Alright, how many bullets do I have? 20. Fuck, I gotta be careful. Love 4 and part 3. Wish I could some pics of my mind. Here's my love 4 and part 3. I might try talking to them. The only is oh wait, I'm bleeding. Oh shit, a poison? How? Uh, oh, so there we go. Okay. I don't know if that was all worth it. Um, but yeah, uh, Drake. I've heard it dead meat. I don't know if they would want to work with me. Or give me information about that kind of stuff because the only issue is that I've started a second channel that is very similar to what they do so they might not be too happy with working with me but I can I can reach out to them and see what they say um, let's see so I am now here so we're gonna try to go left 
through that way. Oh god. Fuck it, we gotta go. I need my shotgun shells so bad. Save. No, no, not right now. My disc this leads to safe rooms. I'm good. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Damn, that thing messed me up. Good. <laughs> He's like, get back here. Oh uh, no, I went up at the wrong time. Okay. I gotta be careful on ammo now. All right, where are we going? I know, I'm almost there. Once they get to the save room, I'm gonna go ahead and buy more ammo. Should be in here. Yeah, there it is, all right. So, we wanna save and get more ammo. I really want to buy a new gun, but I feel like I should focus it on getting ammo first. There we go. Shop. Magazine. Choose weapon. Charge. Just out of curiosity, how much is it for one? Ten points? So ten. Okay, so yeah, I really should be using a lot of fucking bullets, honestly. Makes a lot of sense. Weapon. Still not enough to buy that. There we go. Axel Shadow. I can just imagine Dante from the Devil May Cry showing up, riding a camel, saying, This part is getting crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. That'll be awesome. Alright, let's see. Alright. So we are going to go through that door and they keep going south. Right, this door. Door that's right next to that. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. This is the door. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So just keep going south. Oh, man. Definitely want to use my bullets. Because I get more points by shooting them. And a bullet only costs like literally 10 points. So unlike most survival horror games, it makes a lot more sense to do skill things. Bitch. But if I get under 50, I probably should. So down because I'm probably gonna need that to take down any bosses I come across.
Drake Knight, would you want them to make the Dino Crisis remake longer? Yeah. Yeah, well, obviously I'll be down for it to be long. I don't want it to be, um, like, extremely long. <gasps> what? Oh, shit. Damn it. I, hold on, Drake. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I shot you. Alright, so what was the problem here? The ladder leads to the poisonous gas area. To go down the ladder, a gas mass is needed. Well then. That's annoying. So, do I have to go the long way then? Is that what that's pretty much applying? Go that way. How do I... Back to the military facility? No, it shouldn't be that. I guess we'll go to the that way. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm already running low on ammo. I need to be more cautious about this stuff. We'll use a small pack. Um, yeah, so I do, I would want the remake to be longer, but there is a such thing as too long, honestly. Um, I don't want it to be like Resident Evil. See, the thing I really like about survival horror games is that you can play most of them in one or two cities. And I like that because I don't, like, if I really want a long game, I would go to like Final Fantasy or, or, or Persona or games like that that are more like massive and those games you spend a shit ton, ton, shit ton of time in however what i like about the resident evil games is, and other survival horror games is that the genre comes with games that aren't extremely long so that you can find different ways to replay them and not be dragged down by how long it takes to beat it because if resident evil 2 took about um if resident evil 2 um oh damn hey hold on, i'll give it to you in just a sec by the way buddy but if Resident Evil 2 really took, the, like, made a game that long, then that's a problem, like, because I feel like the reason why I like Resident Evil 2 so much, especially the original, is I can go back and replay it in, like, one sitting, and I don't feel like I'm obligated to put 20 to 30 hours in. However, Resident Evil 6, the game's campaign, like, to be all the entire game, is roughly about 20 hours long. That's a long time to replay uh, Resident Evil 6, and I don't know if I can like always devote to that much time to replaying um replaying a game so i don't like my survival horror games being too long i think eight hours is a good amount of time i think resident evil 4 was 16 hours i believe i'm fine i guess okay with that but i prefer these classic style resident or survival horror games to be roughly around eight to ten hours that is the sweet spot for me because i feel like if I replay it, then it will only take me roughly around three to four hours to beat, and I can do that in one sitting. So I ideally want my survival horror games to be roughly around eight to 12 hours on first playthrough, and then replayability three to four hours. That's what I'm kind of looking for on my survival horror games. All right, so we're gonna go. Anyways, King of Horror, uh, became a member again. Thanks so much, man. Always a pleasure to see you. This is uh, the original Alpha team member, basically. Uh, first one to join the Alpha Stars team member. Bro, we need to get back on that Ari grind and finally chat. I agree, my dude. We gotta, re uh, we gotta set up time to chat sometime. Um, Resident Evil, I'm thinking about starting streaming that again soon. Right now, I wanna get to a whole bunch of other uh, classic survival horror games like Parasite Eve, Haunted Ground. Um, rule of rose but i do want to eventually stream the original classic trilogy the with the seamless hg project so i want to get around to doing that all right we're gonna go down oh my god these raptors are fucking me up Great. back up bitch all right i can't use any bullets i don't know what i'm gonna come across soon and it's probably not a good idea Oh god. We're gonna go all the way down. Is the one who uh, agreed. 
King Horror was the first uh, Stars member. Well, not, I don't know if he was the first Stars member, but he was definitely the first uh, Alpha Stars member. I'm about to, meant to do R2. Push around, go. There's where I gotta go. But you know what? Where's the save room's close by, right? Okay, let's, let's restock. We're gonna restock on some resources first. Idea. This is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Uh, yeah, we'll use that. Alright, let's go. Five dollar super chat from King of Four Re Revelations Three or Outbreak Remake. And that is a fucking tough question to ask me because, okay. I'm a huge, huge, massive fan of Rebecca Chambers. So, if Revelations 3 features Rebecca Chambers in any way as the playable, one, or at least one of the playable protagonists, then I think I'm going to go with Revelations 3. However, if she's not the main playable protagonist, if she's not one of the two main playable protagonists, then I got to go with a Resident Evil Outbreak remake. Does that make sense? Final answer. And thanks for that five dollar super chat, my dude. It means a lot. Personally, I've ever been with multiplayer still. Uh, Drake Knight personally operate remake with multiplayer still. I could finally get my friends. Uh into Resident Evil. Yeah, like I said, I like the idea of Outbreak Remake, but Rebecca Chambers has my heart. Like, she's probably the best underrated uh, protagonist of Resident Evil, and I really, really want to see her come back, and I think Revelations 3 is her best shot. Uh, Hatan 63 what up? All the way from Saudi Arabia, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, right, my dude? Good to see you here. Uh, okay, so we want to go back and load up on some... Uh, bullets. We are going to magazine. We're gonna charge this. Actually, if I do cartridge, does it automatically load it? Let's test that out. We're gonna upgrade it by. <coughs> We're gonna upgrade it by 100. I think 100 is a good number. It does not. So I will charge it. And boom. Always good to have you here, Hatan. Glad to see you here, buddy. And then uh, Drake and I, I agree with Rebecca Chambers saying it's 100%. Absolutely, she's awesome. Still don't have enough for this. Not even close. Doesn't help that I keep buying bullets, but we use pack. And I guess I'm good on healing for now. I can find those out in the wild sometimes. Hatan, this is the game I want them to remake. If they remake Dino Crisis 2, it's going to be the first game first, unfortunately, buddy. Hate to break it to you. Eventually, one day. Alright. So we can go back out, and then we are going to go through that door I just opened. I might have to open it again if I remember correctly, but we'll see what happens. Ah! Ah! They're everywhere! Dinosaur, no! Ah! Alright, we're good. Audi Harris, 95. I love Resident Evil. One of the first games that played Love from Malaysia, by the way. Hope you're doing fine, Ruben. Sorry, I misspelled your name. Uh, what's funny is that you actually caught the fact that you misspelled my name, so... 
that's <laughs> nice. Oh, sorry if you misspelled your name. Um, so my name is spelled really weirdly. Um, it's it's because I'm lat uh, I'm half Puerto Rican, so my name is spelled R U B E N instead of like the sandwich. But not bad, not bad. Oops, this is Dino Crisis, is it? Wrong game franchise, my bad. Uh, close enough, though. Dinosaurs with zombie, or dinosaurs instead of zombies. Uh, but same people that made Resident Evil, so you're not far off. Philip, what up, dude? Thank you for joining us live. All right, where are we at? And you can't go straight. Figures. You can, actually, Hatan. I tried that earlier. I was talking about that. I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> Not even Resident Evil actually introduced that feature until, like, the fifth game, I think. Resident Evil 4 didn't even have that feature. It's crazy. God, they're everywhere. That's, uh, you need Regina, don't you? Is that good to unlock it? You need to research. I didn't mean to do that. Item. There we go. And we're out. <laughs> Eddie Harris, I love your list and rankings. Great opinions overall on the horror game franchises. Thank you so much, Aldi Harris. It means a lot to hear that kind of stuff. Drake, hey, this music goes hard. Absolutely. The music's pretty badass here. Uh, Town 63, I love when the camera angle changes and they spawn. Yep, always fucks me up every single time. All right, how are we doing, Bullets? 180, still pretty, pretty legit. Uh, T-Rex jump scare is the only thing you remember, Aldi. Uh, that was in the first game. And even though I knew it was coming, it still got me, actually. So, it's, it's a pretty good jump scare. This looks... It's time to open and close the ventilation hole. Oh, will you upgrade it? Sure. Because I feel like dinosaurs are going to come through there. And I don't want them coming through there. Let's look at the map. Lock door over here. Well, that's terrifying. Dinosaurs built in this here. Better not disturb it. It's a good idea. <laughs> Dylan, what are you looking for? I don't know. Seems like anything's in here, which is weird. Oh, here's okay. And there's a door I can go through. Phillips, so Capcom made this game. I just want to know. Uh, yes, Capcom did make this game. This came out. Well, I don't remember when this one came out. I think this one was it 2000? 2000 something? I don't know. Um, First game came out in 1999, I believe. I'm throwing numbers out there, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, the Dino Crisis uh, franchise uh, is also Capcom. It just didn't take off as well as Resident Evil did, especially after the third game kind of flopped. I know there are some fans of it. Someone in the chat is actually a pretty big fan of it, if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, I think that game flopped and it just didn't take off after that game. You have read the times case. Seems impossible with the... the Ali Harris, this is the dude from the first game. Is it uh, the Black Dover guy's name? Kyle Gale? Uh, no, this is not Gale. This is a guy named Dylan. Um, and the other guy that you're referring to is Rick, uh, which we talked a lot about while we were playing the first Dino Crisis. I don't know if Jonathan's still in here, but he knows how much uh, Rick pissed me off in the last game. 
He would always be like, oh, we got to take care of this. We got to take care of that. And then he would send my ass to go deal with it. Nice. Resident Evil is an amazing game. It is. Absolutely. Ventilation is open. You cannot operate from this side. Yep. So we'll go over there and close it. We shall close it. We shall close it because I feel like bad stuff will happen if I don't. Or vice versa, probably. I don't know. Who knows? I, I might be screwing myself over by closing those. Dino Crisis will eventually get a remake from Rain. Rain, you're right. Only issue is I think we're going to see a lot of different Resident Evil remakes before we even see the first Dino Crisis one. I'm thinking we'll see Code Veronica, Resident Evil 5, maybe an RE1 remake before we see uh, or RE1 remake again before we see uh, Dino Crisis remake. But definitely, at least, we'll see Resident Evil 5 and Code Veronica before. Before Dino Crisis 1 remake, I think. And, uh, yeah, it's right. Funny dude. Protagonist in the first game is a woman, is it? Regina. And she's also protagonist in this game as well. Uh, we were playing as her earlier. And we'll probably be switching to her here pretty soon, I think. Um, um, I'm probably making a mistake shutting all of these. But I don't care. I'm doing it anyways, and you're not asking too much, Aldi. Feel free to ask as many questions. It's good being able to talk while I play these games, honestly. Research is notebook march. Uh, I don't care about too much. Of oh, that's creepy, actually. Oh, God. All right. We're good. We are going to close this door. And we are going to go investigate that one little green light that i saw over by the cages even though i'm pretty sure that might be a mistake but i'm gonna do it anyways there is a metal spoon placed inside the cage will you yes a new dino file pumps up not okay cool we thought about that earlier the I just love fixed camera angle adds to that. I do too. Um, I really, really, and I understand why they don't, but I really wish Capcom would release fixed camera angles for some of their like modern games. For example, I know we have the mod for it now. Resident Evil 2 remake easily could have been a fixed camera game. I don't know why they didn't do it, but, um, I'm not saying it should have been primarily a fixed camera angle game, but maybe do what they did like with Village, how they release a third person over the shoulder mode for uh, the main story of Village later on, like a year after its initial release. That would have been cool to do with Resident Evil 2 Remake, release a fixed camera uh, mode for the game. And I feel like Capcom should do that going forward. I know they won't. I feel like they should. I wish they would. But I'm just being probably a little too hopeful. Uh -huh. How many bullets? I'm good on bullets. Do I have enough for this yet? No, I need like 10,000 more. If I remember correctly, that weapon shoots out like energy particles. Pretty badass. came out here so we go to let's go to the left since we know it's a dead end actually the right might unlock can we unlock this huh. wait what i'm confused Okay, you need the research facility. Uh, okay, and I used that, and you said no. Oh, I wasn't right in front of it. Aldi, how much song are you going to be streaming? Sorry if I had, had to leave all of a sudden. Um, I will probably be streaming at the very least until midnight. Um, I don't know exactly how long. I might go a little bit later. We'll see how the stream goes. Um, if it picks up steam with more people, be more talkative and active, then I'll stay around a little bit longer. But... Probably going to end the stream at around 12. So probably at least another hour and a half. Marco Lopez, thank you for joining us live. Hola, Ruben. Have you played the Siren Japanese games? 
Um, I have not. I've been wanting to. I've been needing to, and I just haven't got around to it. They're all downloaded. Um, I just haven't got around to playing it. There's so many games on my list I gotta get around to playing. Killers. This game needs the Resident Evil remake treatment. I agree 100%. It does. But it will probably be Dino Crisis 1 first. Alright, so we got that locked. Um, get some key card. Open this too. Yep. Oh, God. Scary shit happened. Oh, you bitch! That's mine! Alright. Oh, I shot the door. You guys know where to go, do you? Where'd you go? You got nowhere to go. You're in here somewhere. All these doors are shut down. Do, do I have to let it in? Fuck you, give me the thing. I'm guessing I have to let him out. Yeah, I have to, I have to let him out somewhere. Okay. So if I let him through this door, what happens? Let's go look in here. Space, right the game is not good to be honest uh i agree it's not the greatest but some people actually like it marco i was gonna say that a shotgun is overkill for her, but this sneaky bastard deserves it agree kind of annoyed uh, so it's i don't want to let him in through here it looks like this place is to hide in here still I'm trying to figure out which door i want to let him in oh you bitch Alright, let's see. If I let you in this way. I think I might let him in. This seems like a good door to let him in. You have to get him in the cage. That's what I was thinking. I'm just trying to think of. So I think this is the door I gotta let him in. All right, perfect. So I should do it. So we're gonna get him in to that door. Healing items. For sure. Uh, that's the door I need to Got you, bitch. I might not actually be able to do it this way, but. Alright. Might have to 
to go that way. Trap, you fucker. Trap now. Alright, we got him in. Now we gotta get him in that way. Alright, buddy. We need to go this way. There you go. Go, go. Keep going, keep going. Got him. You got the research facility. Alright, cool. Aw, oh, we can let him now, out now though, right? Oh, poor guy. Alright, well, before we leave, I want to load up on some stuff, because I am running low on healing items and bullets. So let's see, first, let's buy one Hermer stat. I want to have that. Actually, we'll buy another. And then I want to have a medium. Well, we'll have, we'll have a small one. That, that should be good for now. And then magazine, we are at. There. Cool. Still not enough to buy the weapon, but that's fine. Okay. I'm with the little fuck gun. I can go through the door. Bitch. Oop, wrong button. Our dead body of the youth was carried in as expected. It was not a resident of Edward City. This is really true. Uh, oh, there's that bitch. Unidentified body. Today we plan to remove one of the bodies out of the Mason, who is dispatched at the third energy. Oh. Now we gotta go to the ship. Let's go. Let's pull up the map. So the fastest way, that's unlocked now, so I can cut through there, get to the save room, and then go to the jungle. Let's do that. that your gun never needs to load in this game though. Alright, where are we at now? So here, we gotta go straight across and we gotta go around. Yes, we'll save. Actually, I don't think we're using it. Let's just go. We're fine. I 
it because I know I'll get a lot of points for it, but it's just a lot. To the, oh no, we want to go back to the ship, but you can't enter that way. We have to go the long way. Stupid. So left. and then take a right and we'll save. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, almost got me. Little demon. Not enough. Well, we can save at least. Night, Dylan. Onwards, my friend. Straight, straight, straight almost the whole way except for a small little turn later. Be gone, dinosaurs. I mean, sort of, Marco. I'll do that in just a second. Uh, sort of, Marco. Um, there is a T-Rex that kind of stalks you a little bit. Um, like, there's certain segments where I can cross you, but you can't kill him. So, I'll say sort of. Oh, you Didn't even drop. Did these dinosaurs get faster? Like, damn. They don't play anymore. We are now all the way here, so straight, and then first right.
motherfucker. Oh wait, no, it's not him. Okay. It's a regular. Mean dinosaur. Oh shit! <laughs> Almost got me. Oh, it's the worst. I'm here with the starter battery. She's gone. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You know what else is weird? I've checked the stats on all the residents and soldiers, but I couldn't find any profile fitting her description. It's like she doesn't exist. Well, I was thinking, maybe she's not one of the survivors at all. What if those helmet people are from a completely different time than ours? What? Nah, uh, never mind. We found parts that might help fix the ship. But what matters now is we still haven't found any survivors or helpful data, so we must move on and search elsewhere. This control panel is programmed to search for the areas where we can dock. Use it. Right. I'll put a little more light in here. Ugh. Uh, I didn't put plug it in. There we go. But first, we need the battery in. Did we? I'm assuming we did that already. And then we're gonna save. City said the destination. I guess we're going to Edward City now. NOG facility. Let's go to Edward City. <sighs> we're surrounded. More Don't dinosaurs. Worry. I'll take care of this. More variety in this game though, I'll give it that. Oh shit. I don't have enough to buy my solid cannon. Alright, well. Guess we're rolling with this baby. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. Oh, I 
sure do. Perfect Drake, uh, except for I got hit once. See you later, buddy. Let's just try to start from the areas we can, okay? Agree. You are just so smart, aren't you? It's the final. some stuff. It's a lock, a lock. And apparently they're both locked. It's locked. To unlock, you need a city's key card. Which means I probably can't even do anything here. Can I? Oh, what's this do? Operation instruction over the button. Put the power. Alright, so. Power on. Isn't powered at the moment. Oh God, this is not a good sign at all. Is there really nothing to do here? That kind of blows. Yeah, it definitely feels like Capcom went more sci-fi action versus horror here, which is fine. It's still a fun game. Um, so far, as of now, now that I've replayed both of these games, at this time and moment, I think I appreciate the first game more. This game obviously leans heavy into the action. Oh, shit. Steel box force inside the wooden boxes have rotted. The steel boxes have rusted. They are useless. Well, and the main reason why is that the first game just had more horror. It, it felt more like a survival horror game. This one, you literally buy all your ammo, you buy all your guns. It definitely feels more Resident Evil 4 esque fish which is fine oh. it's just more action horror than spot horror
Regine, uh, Regine. Oh. Okay, so we're here. That's gonna be locked, but we'll go check it out anyways. And then we'll, actually, never mind. It's getting locked from the other side already now. Don't mind me, just doing my own thing. Looks like this is in for us. I'm just all this time that we go by humans. Who are they? These people full face helmets in the rider suit somehow managed to escape. But I seem to have dropped a key for this pistol. And how foolish of me. I can think of one place where it might be. It must have dropped. It is somewhere near the spring in the jungle. Oh my god. I gotta go all the way back. I know where that is. The spring has rather a fast current considering its small size. I must go there quickly or else it may drift away somewhere. Did this I was to deliver common mention has been stolen. Okay. My name's that. Oh shit. Enter here, then I know. Fuck you. I know exactly where that key is. Oh! Let me go. So okay, you need. Yeah, I figured. Okay, well. Let's go back to where the spring is. Gotta go back to the jungle. I swear, better not make me do that. Uh, House of the Dead, first person shooter type of gameplay again. Not looking forward to that. Oh, damn. All right, on second dodge, these guys are a pain in the ass to dodge. It's not a Capcom game unless you have to do a ton of backtracking. That's true. I don't mind backtracking all the way over there. I just hope it doesn't make me do the the shooting mini game again. I wasn't a fan of that. the jungle I don't remember exactly where this is at. But I know I had to cross it on the way back. I guess... 
I feel like it should go, go that way. Sorry, <laughs> that. Allosaurus, no! Okay, so I'm not going to So we're going to go this way. Because I want to retrace my steps as... What's his name? Actually, I think it's right here. Good thing it went this way then. No, it's not here. Okay, retrace my steps as... Dylan did. Oh, it is here. Follow it. Where do you lead, Leaf? There it is. Got it. Cool. Huh. Number one rule in survival horror games, run. Fighting is not an option. <laughs> Unless it forces you to. <laughs> then it's your only option. Uh, now we gotta make our way all the way back to Allosaurus now! Be gentle. Okay, go away. All the way back to the energy facility. I kill everything. You're different from me. You're a, a better person than I am, Darth. You put them out of their misery. I say fuck that shit. Crisis 2 before uh, Darth. Don't mind me, pretty little dinosaurs, just making my way to. Where are the raptors? Ah, uh, I fucking blasted my way through them. Haven't seen any since we were back in the jungle. Or since we left the jungle. Ah, uh, fuck. Show them the back side. Damn it. That was a bad idea. This is why I don't fight them. Marco, put it right there, open doors at some point in the game. Uh, first game they were. I never seen them open a door. Oh shit. I never seen them open a door in this game yet, though. <laughs> to be fair, there's so many of them, they don't really need to. Oh shit, not good, not good. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I think it kills me. Ooh. Ooh, not good. Then we're gonna go ahead and use a large pack. There we go. That thing fucked me up. I hate these guys. Oh my god. Great. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not gonna be pretty when it's. Oh, okay. Good thing got me out of it. I 
box for putting small repair tools. You need the key to. Oh, okay, of course. I need a key to open this too. Why wouldn't I need a key to open that too? Regina, keep it going. Uh, key. Nice. You got the key for the box, so I gotta go back out there now. Noted. important where are the friendly dinos not really many of them in the game unfortunately we saw triceratops uh earlier they were just walking down the path but outside of them everything else is trying to kill me or eat me so so that's i came from the stairs i'm guessing let's look at the map it says the elevator is not unlockable. That is. Where does that lead? Where did you facility storage space? I don't know where this is at. Shoot him. <laughs> Fuck you. ID card. Give me a fucking break. Uh, now I'm bleeding out. Not good. Not good. We gotta get the fuck out. Alright, so we need to stop the bleeding. So we're gonna buy like three of those things. Recovery, how much that? So we're gonna use these. Buy one more. <laughs> You're fine. Uh I had to do what I had to do. I, I gave it a shot. It didn't work out well. Little fuckers. How much is it for? The rocket launcher costs way too much. And I really need a better weapon. The heavy machine gun seems ideal. Alright, anyways. So I have an ID card now. And I have a key that unlocks that box on the boat. Which is the right route? There is no response to the user, so you need to operate the control terminal next to the elevator. Okay, so cool, we have that. Four digit security. Uh, well, I do not know that, so that's a problem. All right, let's look at the key item first, and then we'll go check the box. Cause I bet you it's in the box. A card which verifies that you are a third energy mechanic. Well, <laughs> I'm glad it told me that. All right, so we're going to go to the box. Fuck, these things are so pain in the ass to shoot, aren't they? 
this, this, and keep the box. Drake, did you ever see the original ideas for RE Village? I would have longer. It would have been a longer row section, which would have been larger, and you would have stuck in me. Sorry. Oh, okay. So yes, I did um, see that. Actually, I mentioned parts of that in a video I've done before. It was uh, my video on the top 15 cut monsters in Resident Evil. And the reason why I brought it up is because Mermaids was on that list um, from Resident Evil Village. Um, so that's why I brought that up. And yeah, it, it looked pretty awesome. I'm kind of sad I get why they did what they did because um, they wanted, they felt like, well, first they felt the game was too long and two, because, uh, they felt like they wanted to extend Lady D's castle, I believe, is one of the sections that were extended. And then um, Heisenberg's factory were also was also extended. Um, but I probably would have preferred the stuff that they mentioned about Moreau's uh, section being expanded because it was supposed to be real cool. There was supposed to be some underwater segments there. Maru was supposed to be like a stalker enemy that could be called upon if a mermaid like did her siren scream or whatever. There was some pretty cool stuff and I kind of wish they did do it. Uh, security code for the elevator in the underwater. 4521, noted. 4521. Fuck you. I hate these things. It definitely should have been shorter if the trade-off was whatever they cut. I agree they should have cut it. I don't think Heisenberg was the only section that would have been shorter though. Uh Lady D's castle also would have been shorter if they um if they kept the con the original plan that they had. Four five two one four five two one four five two one. Four five two one four five two one. Five. Biohazard Village. I actually prefer Biohazard 100%. I know a lot of people prefer Village, but I've always been a fan of the more horror, survival horror focus games of Resident Evil over the action horror games of Resident Evil. So I definitely would probably go Biohazard. Um, but that's just me. Just personal preference there. How much? I still don't have enough? Fuck. I should be able to sell stuff. Alright, let's go. Check picker was awesome. That was leaked on the rock. So will you upgrade the elevator? I feel like that is basically telling me, hey, you're about to have a boss fight. Are you sure you want to do this? That's what that question made it seem like. I do want to test something out though. Eh, I'll keep it on for now. I want to test out my submachine gun. I still yet to test that out. So far, not really any puzzles in this game too. So that's another reason why I've liked the first game better so far. Cause I do like, I think this is one here, but to all the machines in this room. If Resident Evil 9 lean more towards Biohazard for horror and then the open world aspects of Resident Evil Village, what would you think? I think that'd be okay. So what I would like to see is a semi open world of Resident Evil 9, not an open world. And what I mean by that, um, the perfect example I could think of is actually Resident Evil Two or Alan Wake is actually a better example. Alan Wake Two is a better example. Is what I would like to see from Resident Evil Nine, where it's open world, but it's not like a massively open world situation. I don't want that. Um, Rec uh, Resident Evil Two Remake is a good example too. Believe it or not, it's kind of considered semi open world because you have to backtrack and there's different. Uh, there's a different order if you can do different things in that. Pretty much qualifies as semi-open world in my opinion so i would rather it kind of lean more heavily towards resident evil 2 
or Alan Wake 2 for the open world aspect of Resident Evil 9, if that rumor is true. Power has been shut to the elevator and the diving suit enclosure displayed on the screen is a program to restart the power. Or you restart the power. Yes, which probably means Reactivating boss fight. main power. Please check computer until power is supplied to all devices. Warning. When power is overloaded, this reactivation process will be suspended. The power has been overloaded, suspending the reactivation process. The fuck? Oh, I know what. Okay, I gotta hit it with my stun thing. So start over. Yeah, let's do it again. Not really a puzzle, but... Psycho one. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, I've heard of Galleryons, and I plan on playing it soon because I want to do a Hidden Gems survival horror game ranking, but I need to play that first before I make that list. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2 did some stuff similar, and I liked it quite a bit. It was alright. Uh, I still think Alan Wake 2 is the perfect example of what I would like to see from a semi-open world Resident Evil game, but Last of Us 2 isn't too bad. I think Last of Us 2 might be a little more massive than I would want, actually. Let's see. I guess we'll look around here. Joe Pedro, which operates an oversized elevator. You need to wear the diving suit in order to go down the underwater. Okay, so I need to get a diving suit in. Bob, I heard that you're placing charge of this area as a present for you. New position here is a memo, which may come in handy. It's about restarting the power. When you try to initialize the power restarting program, it often stops, right? Well, let's use the manufacturing at the three control terminals here. So it's not right when you initialize the program, it quickly overloads. And then, okay, yeah, I already. Well, that was useless. I mean, Alan Wake 2 did it really well. Yeah, I think Alan Wake 2 is the perfect example of a good. Uh, of a semi open world and a survival horror game done well. Nice. No 
one's interesting. That is one interesting diamond suit, right? enough to buy that now. Go back in. Let's see. Yes. Oh, wait. Aqua grenade. Single-handed. Main one. Okay, I'm not going to waste money on an underwater weapon. I don't think there's a point. What is the game that was supposed to be horror but executed as super poorly other than Resident Evil 6? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think Resident Evil 5 was that scary. I'm not sure. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm going to be in charge of checking the system on our circulation. Yeah, that doesn't seem helpful. Terminal for operating the shutters. All right, so we need a shutter control plug. Noted. Go that way. All right, so probably play for another 20 to 30 minutes and then Probably go ahead and cut it quits. Good. I need to get up there. 
there somehow. I do like this section for one reason, one reason only. I have unlimited ammo with this weapon. And it's pretty powerful. Meaning I can get my kills and my points to buy my other weapons. Sure to close the waterways. You could hear a little sound of machines, but it doesn't seem like oh God. What am I? Do I need to buy that weapon? I think that's what I have to do, which is annoying, because I didn't want to waste my money, but I think I have to buy it. Alright, let's buy it. That's why it's here, I suppose. Let me see what tools. Silver card. Enter suit. I guess it makes me stronger. Power battery. 
Alright, All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy this. Hard materials, yeah, so, okay. I thought about it, but that would take a lot of time, and I'm only probably playing for another 20 minutes. So I would feel bad farming this section when this is probably like getting close to the end of the stream. You know what I'm saying? But I have considered it. Definitely considered it. What happened? Let's go. Ooh, what is this? Power terminal for the small elevator used for construction. We turn the power on, sure. Okay, so that's gonna allow me to get that now. I guess it's in case you fall. We got the flyers. Now we gotta make our way all the way back to that place. Alright, well, let's go back then. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. I only wanted 
wanted to kill you for the points and revenge. Mainly revenge, but the points is a nice little bonus. All right. Safe room. Okay, so now where are we at now? Safe room. It's all the way up there. So I think the right thing to do is... Go back up? I think I'm gonna finish this aquatic section and then the save point after the aquatic section I think is gonna be the end. But we shall see. section with a decent amount of money. Oh shit. Not good, not good, not good, not good. I'm gonna go ahead and use Go 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 I 
feel like something's coming right about now. Alright, let's go. So now we go back all the way back to Emerald City. Oh God, please tell me there's a shortcut that we just created. Like there has to be. You can't just take the elevator back up. A dino file. Just for the, yeah. Just long head, long neck things. Great. Oh, I hope this is the shortcut that we're creating. It's going the wrong direction though. Go up, up. Well, it's No. 
I fucked up. I was going the right way. Can you saw the door while I was fighting? Especially for this section, trying to get in there is, is like way more difficult than it needs to be. Because I can't get up this way. This would make things a lot easier if I could. Once we get to the next save point, we're gonna go ahead and save and probably call it a quits, which I feel like we're getting pretty close. city now. Welcome back. How's the water? I don't recommend the diving in this resort. Hey, this is David. Is anyone there? 
Christian, Andrew, thanks for doing it. Yeah, no problem. I knew you were alive. Yo, Dylan! I found survivors here! Really? We're about to give up. Where are you? I'm guessing you fell on the helmet, people. David! David! Edward City. That's piece, not David? far from here. Let's go! No, that'll make me go. Use the city's key card. Let's hurry to Emerald City. Alright. We are gonna go back to the ship. Go ahead and probably call it quits here. Wednesday. Alright, guys. Alright, so that about does it for the stream today, guys. Um, so thank you for joining me. Um, let's go ahead and get this off. We're going to switch to our webcam. There we go. Guys, thank you so much for joining me uh, live for the stream of Dino Crisis 2. We will probably continue pick this back up uh, next Wednesday at around the same time, either 9 or 8 p.m. Eastern Time next week. If you guys want to see the conclusion of Dino Crisis 2, potentially, I don't remember how long this game is. Could take three parts, but it looks like we're making pretty good progress on the game so far. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Uh, my thoughts between Dino Crisis 1 and 2 after replaying them both recently now. Um, probably more of a fan of Dino Crisis 1. I like the gameplay of Dino Crisis um, 2. I like how there's a lot more dinosaurs in Dino Crisis 2. But um, I just feel Dino Crisis 1 is just more of a survival horror experience. It feels more like the type of games that I love. So Dino Crisis 1 is definitely my pick so far. But Dino Crisis 2 has been a lot of fun. We still have a good portion of the game to still play. And I'm excited to get through this one because I think I am going to stream Dino Crisis 3 much to my dismay uh but i do want to go ahead and stream dino crisis 3 and then we'll probably move on to the parasite eve trilogy after that but let me know in the comments what kind of um games you guys want to see me stream i want to stick to the classic survival horror game so parasite eve i know someone threw out gallerians out there um other stuff like that let me know in the comments also if you guys want to hit the chat or the comments let me know type of uh, list videos that you guys want to see. I'm actually struggling coming up with some more horror video game related list ideas. I still have a backlog of a couple different ideas I'm going to work on, but Resident Evil uh, horror related video game ranking ideas. Love to get your opinions down in the comments below. But anyways, thanks for uh, joining me for this live stream. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Nerd Space Games. Take care.